Los Angeles, the host of Guinness Primetime, Chris Collinsworth. Good evening and welcome to another record-setting program. Now, if I told you that there was a man who claims he can heat a piece of molten metal to over 1,000 degrees, then place it inside his mouth, you'd say that sounds like something you'd see on Guinness Prime Time. And you'd be right. Let's go to Mark Thompson. I'm here with Mr. Yim Jung Nam from the Korean province of Gyeongkye-do. Mr. Yim cannot speak English, and so Mr. Ko is here with us to translate. Mr. Yim is a seventh degree black belt in Hapkido. It's a form of martial arts devoted to controlling one's mental and physical energy. And he will be attempting a feat that takes mind over matter to the next level. Mr. Yim will take molten lead, lead so hot that it can do this. and actually place that metal inside his mouth. Now, we are told that this causes no pain, but how can Mr. Yim do this without burning his tongue? Uh, his Hapkido training allows him to control pain. Now, what was it like the very first time that you put this molten metal in your mouth? Uh, it was hot. <laughs> Doesn't this red-hot molten lead, which is still cooking the bacon on our plate here, doesn't this cause any permanent damage to your tongue and your mouth to do this repeatedly? Uh, no permanent damage. All right, it's time for Mr. Yim to attempt a new Guinness record for the hottest piece of metal held in the mouth. We're using a special industrial thermometer to obtain the official temperature. It's usually used in steel welding. Our Guinness judge, Michael Feldman, is going to take the reading. So, Michael, if you want to put the thermometer in that lead in its molten state now, I'll try to give folks an idea of, well, 900 degrees. That's 900 degrees Fahrenheit and still climbing. 908, now it seems to have plateaued at 908. Somewhere between 910 degrees and 910 degrees. The temperature is 910 degrees. Here's how it will work. Mr. Yin will place a piece of molten lead the size of a silver dollar onto this brass spatula. He is then going to transfer the lead onto his tongue. He will hold it inside his mouth for as many seconds as he can. Our Guinness judges are going to keep track of the time the lead is held inside his mouth, and Mr. Yim will then spit out the lead onto this board. What Mr. Yim is about to do is extremely dangerous. He has spent a lifetime perfecting this skill. It should never be tried at home in any way, shape, or form. We have emergency medical technicians standing by in the event that there is a problem here with Mr. Yim. Should he require life-saving assistance, they are standing by. Are you ready, sir? Yes. Good luck, and please be careful. This is his martial arts ritual. It helps him focus his mind and channel all his strength into his mouth. <sighs> These are the heat protective gloves that he's now putting on. You can see nothing is in his mouth, nothing to protect him. It is 
in his mouth. It is in his mouth unequivocally. Uh. Oh, my God. Officially, 14 seconds you held that molten lead in your mouth. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I never would have believed it. Incredible. The Guinness judges have confirmed your time. 14 seconds in your mouth. Mr. Yim, you now hold the Guinness record for holding the hottest piece of metal in your mouth for 14 seconds. Congratulations. Now that was very cool, or very hot. Either way, we're coming right back.